Hi, I'm Bridget Edwards, cookbook author and creator of the blog Bake It 350. I'm here today with Imperial Sugar and Dixie Crystals to show you how to make chocolate bunny sandwich cookies. These adorable bunnies are thick, soft cookies sandwiched with a marshmallow buttercream filling. With a frosting cottontail and sprinkles for the eyes and nose, they're a cinch to make. First, I'm going to start by adding my cocoa powder and flour and just whisking them together until combined. Next in the bowl of my stand mixer, I'll cream together the butter and sugar until light and fluffy. Next, I'll add in the eggs and vanilla, mixing until combined. Add the flour and cocoa mixture in three additions, beating just until combined. Now we're going to divide the dough into two sections, form into disc, wrap in plastic wrap, and refrigerate for 30 minutes. I'm using rolling guides here to ensure an even thickness, but just feel free to eyeball this part. And now we'll cut with our cookie cutter and get as many shapes as you can from each roll. You'll place half of these shapes right side up and then flip the other half over since we'll be sandwiching these cookies together. Our cookies have baked for 10 minutes and while they're cooling, it's time to make the marshmallow buttercream frosting. First, we'll combine butter and marshmallow cream on medium speed until combined and fluffy. Next, we'll add in half of our sugar and you'll just mix this on low until combined. Next, we'll add in our milk and vanilla. Start mixing this on low and then increase the speed to medium until it's combined with the sugar. Now we're ready to start decorating our bunny cookies. We'll start with our marshmallow buttercream in an icing bag fitted with a number four tip. We're going to add an even layer of buttercream on the flat side of one cookie. We'll sandwich the two sides together. And then with the same tip, pipe an eye, and then use your tweezers to grab a flat blue sprinkle and just place it right on top of your frosting. You'll use the same method with a number one tip to add the nose. Now we'll switch the tips one more time to a star tip, and we'll use this to add the cotton tail. And the final touch is just a piece of pretty ribbon tied around the neck of the cookie. And there you have it. This recipe will make approximately 12 sandwich cookies that are ready to hop right into your Easter baskets. Enjoy.